it going guys? We're gonna be talking more project cars and just how realistic is this game gonna be? This article was posted on April 13th, 2015 on LazyGamerReviews.com. So let's get right into it. So Project Cars wants to be the number one driving simulator out. Now to do so, they've implemented so many things to make that possible. And I'm gonna go through those points just to show you guys if you didn't know. Now I'm going to use Forza Motorsport 5 as an example. I usually don't like using Forza as an example because those are one of the games that I play a lot on my channel and I absolutely love. I'm not bashing the game in any way, shape or form. I am just comparing the two and just showing how much more realistic Project Cars wants to be compared to a game like that. It's on a whole different caliber and I went, at this point I wouldn't even put Forza 5 on the same level as what Project Cars wants to do. But anyways, let's get right into the first point that I want to discuss, and that is, we'll use an example with the GT3 cars, Grand Tour and cars. Now in Forza 5, you can easily do donuts in almost any car as long as you have enough power, assist off, etc. Now in real life, and what's going to be implemented in Project Cars, is that's not going to be possible. You can't do burnouts in GT3 cars, and they say that because even though these GT3 cars have a lot of power, that does not mean that they are going to be transferring all that power to the ground. It just doesn't work, it's just not realistic, and that is something that Project Cars cut and they made realistic. So by making their game realistic, that is one element that they had to get rid of. Even though to a lot of people that is something fun to do, especially if you're just horsing around, you want to do donuts in your car, it's just not going to be as easy or possible in Project Cars using GT cars. I'm not saying any car, you could probably do it in different cars but specific GT3 cars you will not be able to do that in but who knows we'll see what happens right things might change people might come up with weird tunes who knows I'm just saying realistically this is what they want to do and that is one element that they've that they've implemented next they've also they've also explained why a lot of cars feel different and what I mean by different is Especially when you're throttling down, you just it feels it feels different car to car. And that is to do with time, day, location, track temperature, assists, and amount of fuel. They all affect the way a car throttle responds. And I've even like that's realistic. Like for instance, when I'm driving my car, and my car obviously you've guys seen my video, it's nothing special. But you know, I've done a few, you know, mini races with my friends and shit, horsed around, and I found that when the car is on lower fuel, it seems to be, it seems to have a little bit of a lag, like a throttle lag, compared to if I filled the thing up. If I filled the gas tank right up to the rim, put a full tank of gas in the car, it has a way better throttle. I mean, it just responds way better. Whereas if I don't have a lot of, a lot of fuel in my car, you know, there's a sort of lag and it, 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 it makes your car slower off the line and that is something they're going to be implementing, which is awesome. I love that. And not only that, tires. Tires are a huge thing in racing. If you have shit tires, you're going to have shit grip, you're going to have shit power because where the power is in the engine isn't going to get to the tires properly. So I mean, even though your car might have 600 horsepower, if you have shit tires, you may only be getting like 200. Who knows, right? So. That's another element that they're going to be adding, and obviously the location and track temperature makes a huge difference. I mean, with the track temperature, if it's very hot, it's going to be more grippy for the tires, whereas if it's really cold, it's going to be less grippy, and that is something they're going to be implementing, which Forza has already kind of done that, granted, but Project Cars is going to be really, really stepping it up and making it even more realistic than it already is, which is going to be amazing. And last, this is another thing that they've discussed that will be implemented, is a lot of people say when they're driving, especially in Forza and I, I would actually say in any racing game, when they're driving certain cars and it's just not working out for them, I mean I've even complained about it, they'll be saying something like, oh this car understeers too much or oversteers too much, etc. And that's that that's not just a bug in the game, that's a feature that's been purposely added because some cars do that and it's based on the way it's tuned. Whether it's the way the tires have been tuned or the aero has been tuned, it all affects the way a car over or understeers, especially on a track. 
And these are three things that I've just listed off to you guys out of the countless things Project Cars has implemented to make their racing game the most realistic racing game ever. Now, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is amazing? What kind of things do you want to see if they haven't been implemented or things that you think will be implemented in Project Cars? Let me know down in the comments below. I think this is awesome. And these are these three things, I swear to God, guys, these are three things that I've thought about and I've always wondered why not one racing game has done. Obviously, there's been lots of racing games that have touched some of these elements, but to get them all in one package, this is something Project Cars is definitely doing and they are on the right track. The only thing we need next to see from them is upgrades. That is one thing uh, that, yeah, even though they're saying they've maxed out the upgrades, they made it the best parts possible. They, they can't just cut a corner like that. They gotta make it more realistic. If they wanna get the top realistic spot, that is something that they're gonna have to eventually add in. And I mean, it should already be in, but you know we're gonna have to deal with it. However, with what they've already done, I think it's it's one of the most realistic games to date, and it's gonna it's gonna hold a spot. Believe me, it's gonna hold a spot. Let me know what you guys think, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.